Hello everybody, welcome back to Cash Kicks TV. Today we're back with a new video and it is a video on the Jordan 1 Smoke Gray. We're finally able to get our pair. It was not easy, but before we get into that, I just wanna say thank you to everyone that's been showing me love on this channel. Our last two videos have been doing amazing. So after this video, if you haven't had a chance to check out my previous videos, make sure to do so. Lately, we've been doing really good on subscribing, liking on my videos. The channel is really, really growing. I'm starting to feel the love consistently. It's making me want to go even harder. So I appreciate all you guys for that. And like I said, we got a new review. We got a new unboxing today on these beautiful shoes. Very happy I was able to add these to my collection. So make sure you hit that subscribe button. Make sure you hit that like button. And let's get straight into today's video. <laughs> So let's get straight into these shoes. They did drop July 11th for $225 Canadian with tax. It comes up about $250. So I tried my luck then that morning on footlocker.ca and I was unable to secure my pair. A matter of fact, a lot of people were not able to secure their pair. I'm pretty sure that a lot of people were complaining actually to Foot Locker on their post saying that the shoe basically came sold out and they were expecting to have a better chance of being able to purchase these shoes that they weren't able to have that chance they didn't feel as if they stood any chance on getting them in the first place i thought that day was just weird like i was able to add it into my cart but when i went to cash out and they said um we're going to direct you to the cart it just didn't direct me there it directed me to a different page that said we are sorry once i saw that the first time i knew it was a wrap i just exit the web browser i knew it was over from there but the good thing is champs did not officially release theirs yet because champs doesn't have an online website to sell in canada you know you always have a chance in store as long as they're getting them so that's what i went by and that's where i was able to get my pair at champs it was not easy i had to keep calling and calling asking them did you guys drop them yet did you guys drop them yet i had to go in a few times and just make sure everyone's telling me the truth there that they haven't dropped and then this morning of today i called them just expecting them to say the usual no we have not dropped them yet and they tell me what we dropped them 20 minutes ago and boom, I was there in 15 minutes, ready, there. And I was able to get my size, that size 11. So we got the typical Jordan 11 box, <laughs> 11. Jordan 1 box, doesn't get better than that. You know, I, I, I understand why these were so difficult to get. But sometimes I really think that I was going after a Dior or something. Like, it was that annoying on the information that they were giving on them. It was very, very limited. But we finally secured our pair of the Jordan 1 Smoke Gray. L let's just start off with the quality of that Smoke Gray. Oh my, like, for you guys that know this. Sorry, for you guys that have this shoe, you know the quality on the gray is beautiful. I love the gray on this shoe. And then, of course, what sold most people is the Union style, the red on the side. Like, I think what really sold these to people was that Jordan 1 Union style um, that they went with. That's what pretty much sold me. You could call these the broke man version of the unions, which I do plan on getting eventually. I want the blue one really bad, but you can call this the broke man version of the Jordan 1 unions. But it kind of has its own flavor to it to me as well. I know it's kind of hard to say that with literally this right here, but the shoe doesn't look like it tried to really copy the unions like that. It looked like it tried to take its own vibe and it did a really good job of that. As you guys can see, um, just your typical Jordan 1, no fancy extra details to them, but I really like how the check mark here is black. Um, that's another part that sold me. I love the black check marks on the Jordan 1s. Yeah, man, I was, I'm still shocked at what I had to go through to get these, like, and the resale on them have not been good, man. Like, they, it really jumps. Like, the resellers are really starting to, like, 
get on my nerve, especially when it comes to Jordan 1s. I feel like this is the shoe. Yes, there should be some resale to it. Correct. But for you to jump it up to four fifty, five hundred dollars dollars $500, if you hold these for a bit and put them up there, sure. But to know that they haven't really fully gave out all their pairs yet, especially here in Canada, to know that Champs is getting it, and to want to sell these to me for $500, I think that was too much. I was ready to go $350 because I'll be honest with you guys. At Champs, I thought I had no chance. I thought I wasn't getting these. I thought I was, I was getting ready for resale. But I was seeing four, four fifty. It made me more determined to get these. So thank you, resellers, for upping that price because you made me go harder to get this shoe. Because I knew it was a do or die. I'm not gonna spend four fifty, five hundred on these. I, I might as well start putting towards something that I wanted for a long time, a grail. Why do that for something like this? Obviously, I'm in love with the shoe. I love it, but there's a lot more near that price range. I rather go after so why not do that so that's pretty much why i was so obsessed with getting this shoe because resellers were making it difficult champs didn't want to they, they didn't tell anyone the release dates and i don't care they have an idea of when it's going to be released they just try to keep everything secretive i understand covid's going on they don't want busy lineups but try to find a better way to do this because it's really really stressful it's making things a lot more difficult I've been to that champs maybe five times in the past five days now. It's crazy. Like, it's crazy, and it, it's just unacceptable. But at the end of the day, it was worth it for me to get this shoe because if you guys know, I really wanted these bad. Another thing is, this is the first time that I'm really going to consider putting on the color of lace that comes, like, the extra color that comes with the shoe. Usually, I always stick with the color it comes with, which is black. I might go with the white on this one. I don't know, man. Like you should... I'm going to start off with black, but don't be surprised if I switch it up to white. I'm getting ready to wear these right away, man. These are a cop. If you're able to get these for a reasonable price resale or retail, or you've already been able to cop these, let me know. You are lucky if you were able to get these for retail, man. These shoes right here, it's going to build value and it's going to grow in price. I promise you guys that. So make sure if you're planning to sell it, I would say hold it on for a little bit. I know I said that the resale is too high. Now, I just think without, just here in Canada, for the you to know that they haven't fully dropped yet and try to sell for $500 already, I just think that wasn't smart. Two, three months down the road, sure. Maybe even more. But for you to do that right away, knowing that I still have a chance to get these in champs, that was a little slimy for a few guys that I spoke to on Kijiji. But it's all good. I was able to get my pair for retail, $250, so it's... You know what I mean? I, I ain't mad about it. You know, I got my pair, so there's not much more to be said on that. But I told you guys it was going to be a busy, busy month for me, and I kept that promise. Every single shoe I said I was going to cop, I cop. I'm, I ran out of bins. I need to, because the store that provides me the bins, they still haven't opened up yet. And I'm, I'm, out, I'm out of bins. I need, I, need, I need bins because I have like four or five shoes waiting to get into bins. And it's something that I really like. To see my shoes in because it looks a lot more neater and i could enjoy my shoes a lot more in a clear bin so hopefully they do open up soon so i can continue to do that and yeah man that's pretty much it our next cop that we're looking to get is probably going to be the jordan 12 university gold at first i was going to leave these alone but that was when they were dropping july 18th by them dropping july 24th that gives me a little bit more time to digest a lot of the money I've been spending on shoes. So I think I will go ahead and get those mainly because I do not have a Jordan 12 right now. I sold all the 12s I had. So that gives me a little bit more of that extra fuel to go get that 12. So stay tuned on that unboxing slash review coming soon. I hope you guys really enjoyed this video. I just want to give you guys, we everyone's already seen these shoes. I just want to give you guys a detailed story and what it took me to get the shoe which was a lot of phone calls and a lot of going to the store. If you're like me and you really want your pairs and you try to avoid resale, you got to stay really consistent and on top of these stores on what they're doing and when they're going to be dropping these. Because I promise you, if you stay on it, you stay consistent, you're going to get the shoe. Right now, they're trying to be really tough because of this COVID and not give out details. But there's only so much you could do. If I'm going to be in that store, I'm going to see them. So that's what I did. I just... I let it make I let it be known real clear to the employees there. I'm gonna be there every day until I get my pair. 
And when I walked in, they saw me there giggling like, this this, this guy is serious. And I'm like, yeah, man, like I told you, I need my pair. So that's pretty much it. Like I said, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Make sure you guys hit that subscribe button. We're on our way to 2,000. We're going to get there sooner than later. Keep hitting that like button so this video can be seen. I'm Cash Kicks TV. Until next time, we out. Come on, man. If you made it this far, make sure you hit that like button.